So they are using their Bible to be making money. You know what I'm talking about. And then they now say, don't mind Damina. Damina is full of bitterness. Damina is envious. Me, envious of what? The templates you people are using for your materialistic gospel, some of the templates, I'm the one that gave to you people. What is there to envy? Envy lying to people in the name of the Bible and collecting their money. Lying to them that if they don't pay tax, they will not go to heaven. Lying to them that the size of your giving determines the weight of your greatness. Lying to them that you must pay tax 50 years in advance. Lying to them that if you give to the poor, you will be like the poor. Is that what I'm envying? Or envying, arranging miracles, crutches and wheelchairs all brand new, which we don't see anymore. Is that what I'm envious of? There's nothing there to envy. I am satisfied with Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God unto salvation. And can somebody shout glory? <laughs> Someone must stop this man or, or else he will scatter the table. He's going to close down so many business centers in Nigeria that are masquerading as churches. These are subliminal jabs <laughs> below the belt <laughs> to the dear the boy, to Papa Depo, to our very comical RNG master, Dr. Poe Ninja, the retired Dr. Poe Ninja. <laughs> and this one who is no shame called Ibiomi. You must know it's Oye Depo who peddles this false doctrine. Of paying tithe, it's at the boy who also peddles this doctrine of prosperity. It's poor and angel who fakes healing miracles, and it's Ibiome who also supports and endorses this prosperity gospel. At the boy proclaims that if you don't pay your tithe, you will not go to heaven. Or a depot proclaims that if you withhold your tithe or if you give your tithe to the poor you will soon become like the poor. Poor Enenji is the one who masquerades with wheelchairs and crutches over his shoulders, deceiving masses that he has the miracle power to deliver people from disabilities. And then we have this one called the Biome, who does not even know what he stands for, who has absolutely no doctrine, who is forever saying that the size of your giving of your offering, of your tithe, determines the weight of your blessing. Okay, continue listening to Dr. Damina before we analyze it. What is there to envy? The Bible in the book of, of, of 2 Corinthians 10, 12 says, they comparing themselves with themselves, they are not wise. In 1 Corinthians 4, 5, it says, judge nothing before the time. It's too early now to be saying, this is a great man of God. This is the biggest man of God. It's too early. Judge nothing before the time. We are still in the journey of ministry. And one day we will see Jesus. Then shall we know which man is the great man of God. But those of you that are comparing themselves by the sizes of your congregation, Bible says you're not wise. You're foolish. And I don't want to model after a foolish man. The things that African or Nigerian DDGOs use to undermine them in our material possessions. If they lose the battle, the doctrinal battle or the scriptural battle with Damina, they always resort to saying that he is a rat, he is a Mickey Mouse, he does not have what we have, he is bitter, he is this, 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 and this. But the truth is, whatever he has been ex exposing about the prosperity gospel is the truth. It is the truth. These Draculas have been using the Bible to collect money from masses, to trick masses, to manipulate masses, and exploit masses financially. And he even mentioned it, that the template that they are using today, the template that they are using to scam people, I gave it to them. And now they are coming out to say, I'm fighting fathers, I'm abusing fathers. Yet I'm only correcting the errors that I made, the wrongs that I did in the past and they can't stomach it because they are profiting from these gimmicks from these scams your oil depot have become multi-billionaires by tricking and peddling false doctrines prosperity doctrines your oil depots ibiomis even power and ancient and all these so-called fathers of faith in nigeria have become filthy rich by manipulating the gullible by tricking you 
and promising you that which you cannot see with your physical eye, whilst they collect from you that which they can feel and touch. Material, something that is substantial. It's hope that they have given you, that they have traded, and promises that have never been fulfilled. Wise up, my people. Wise up. It's a gimmick. It's a lie. Don't fall for the prosperity gospel. If you want anything in this life, go work for it. Nothing is going to come by raising up your hands in the sky and shouting, I receive. Nothing. It has been tried and tested. Tried and tested. Nothing comes by shouting, I receive. So tell me what you think by Damina's response to the fathers of faith.